Put the three cannons facing toward the mast. Place the cursed sapphires on the treasure slabs equal to how many gem icons are shown on the slab. Put the three ember marbles as shown. Put one cannonball in the crow's nest. Place the remaining three cannonballs on the sand at the base of the island. Shuffle the action and souvenirs cards into their respective decks. Set the snapshot cards face up to the side of the island. Give each player a random sinister motive card and keep it secret. Pirate Island has three caves, numbered, 1, 2, and 3. You can move to and from these caves as normal launching the die. Cursed sapphires are treasures and are grabbed or stolen as normal. After you have finished your first action, you may place a cursed sapphire you are carrying into the maw to take a second action. The crow's nest always contains cannonballs equal to the number of marbles in the scar. Some action cards tip the nest over. After it is tipped, reset the crow's nest and return the correct number of cannonballs back in it. The captain's wheel is a snapshot space but is unstable so you must stop on it. When launching an ember marble, you may tap the skull's forehead or bones to launch the marble in its jaws. You may rotate all three cannons with one rotate action. Some action cards let you steal a treasure when you pass a player. The player being stolen from, chooses what treasure you steal. Cursed sapphires are worth 2 points at the end of the game. Sinister motives cards may affect your score too. There is one souvenir card in the deck called the black spot. If you have it, you may give it to any player you pass. Whoever has it at the end of the game loses 7 points.